Hey guys, I'm Steph from RockyTimes.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to import the demo content into your Ninva team uh, basically make your site look exactly like our uh, team demo right, so uh, first let's go to our WordPress dashboard it's a VP admin, let's go to team options and just uh, click here on this link, the online uh, documentation. Okay, uh, next click on uh, demo data tab. And um, uh, as you can see, when accessing the demo data uh, documentation, um, you can see a message here that uh, it tells us uh, we also need a WooCommerce plugin. If we, but only if uh, we need to have a, um, a shop section uh, on our site. Um, you can skip this, uh, not install this plugin if you don't want to have a, a shop section. Uh, okay, the next thing uh, we need to do is actually click on this link here and uh, download the, this file, Nimba uh, demo data XML .gs. This is a zip file, a 7 zip file. Okay, so uh, let's save it somewhere on our uh, computer. I'm going to save it on my des desktop. Okay, click save. You can follow these uh, steps here if you need to have a um, better reference of what's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to close this tab. Um, now I'm going to click on plugins, uh, add new because I want to install the WooCommerce plugin. Okay, search plugins, that's WooCommerce. Hit enter or command if you're on Mac. Okay, uh, and this is the plugin we want to install. Click on install now. Are you sure you want to install this plugin? Click OK. And just wait for a few seconds. Okay, uh, the plugin was uh, successfully installed. Let's click on activate plugin. Okay, uh, you have this message here. Uh, let's uh, click on skip setup because uh, we already have uh, our pages included in the demo content, right? So we have now uh, WooCommerce installed. Uh, next, we need to go to this area, tools. Next, click on import and select uh, WordPress. Okay, now click on install now and activate and run importer. Okay, now go to browse and select uh, Niva demo data uh, XML file that you uh, downloaded. Okay, select it, click on open and click on upload file and import button. Uh, I'm just going to select uh, my existing uh, user, admin, and make sure that uh, you choose uh, this uh, option here, download and import uh, file attachments, uh, because um, by clicking uh, this option, uh, you will actually import uh, all the images uh, and the content that was used uh, to create our uh, demo site for the Nimba team. Okay, okay so uh, click on Submit. And depending on your uh, hosting provider and, of course, uh, the actual resources uh, of your uh, server, uh, this will take uh, from a few seconds to a couple of minutes. So don't worry, just uh, uh, be patient and everything will be fine. Okay, so this might take a few uh, seconds, even minutes, so don't worry. Just uh, be patient and wait. Uh, uh, for the process uh, to finish. Okay, so now the import uh, has been uh, successfully done, the import process. Uh, we do have uh, one error here, but don't worry, that's just a missing image from our uh, Nimba uh, demo team, so 
everything should be okay let's uh, let's go ahead and see how our uh, site looks like now I'm going to open that in a new tab and as you can see we have uh, uh, the posts imported from imported from our uh, uh, demo site uh, one thing that you will notice is that uh, all the posts are actually displaying the entire content this is a new feature that uh, we added uh, your posts uh, can now show either the entire uh, post content or just an excerpt uh, the excerpt so let's go to team options and uh, blog options let's uh, let's see okay this should uh, okay after saving the team options you can see that everything works now uh, we only see the post excerpt instead of the actual content and you can actually modify the excerpt length let's see that you maybe you want to show the 18 uh, words at the uh, first uh, 14 that was set as default let's go back uh, hit refresh and as you can see our uh, post content has, uh, has been increased from uh, 14 words, 40 words to uh, 80 words okay uh, as you can see we still have no menu assigned we're going to fix that let's go back to our WordPress dashboard go to appearance uh, menus okay so uh, let's go to manage lo locations tab and we need to set a menu for the primary menu I'm going to select the home menu and for the footer menu let's select the footer menu top navigation top nav menu okay click on save, save changes and let's go back to our site hit refresh and as you can see now the menu uh, was created all the items are here we also have uh, this uh, shopping cart uh, icon here because we installed uh, the WooCommerce plugin. Okay. Um, let's go back to our uh, dashboard and go to settings, uh, reading, and I'm going to uh, select uh, to display a static page for the front page. I'm going to use uh, home version 1 for, for instance ok, click save changes go back to our live um, front page and uh, hit refresh so now we have um, uh, a home page set instead of showing the latest post it's actually showing a very nice uh, home page uh, as you can see, we also have here um, an error saying that this layer, uh, uh, the layer slider was not found, uh, but uh, the, the video background is playing. Uh, to fix that, we need to import the layer sliders as well. So let's go to layer slider, all sliders, and click on import sample sliders. Select the Ninva demo sliders. Okay, now go back to the front page, um, edit page, edit this uh, first um, element, the layer slider, and select an Inva front slider transparent background because we want uh, our user to actually see. Um, the video background that's playing uh, for our uh, home page and layer slider element ok, click on view page ok, so as you can see 
uh, now we have our slider set everything looks a lot better um, in my opinion this is uh, how a landing uh, home page should uh, look like of course you can improve this this is just for uh, demo purposes um, one thing I want to show you uh, with this demo content is uh, how to actually set um, a mega menu uh, mega menu is actually a very nice uh, looking menu. I'm going to set them uh, set a mega menu for the pages for the VC elements and the shop uh, Shop page. So let's go back to your WordPress dashboard uh, head on to appearance menus and um, Let's expand the pages click here Okay, so make sure that you enable this option here, enable mega menu. Uh, I want to use uh, four rows, four columns, sorry. Okay. Scroll down until you find um, the VC elements. Again, expand this option here and enable the mega menu. I'm going to use again four columns and another do this another time uh, one more time for the uh, shop uh, page as well enable mega menu but this time we are going to use only three um, columns uh, you can always uh, uh, for all your uh, sub menu items uh, so to call them you can expand them expand them and uh, use a uh, font uh, awesome icon I'm going to show you just um, how to use that, use that in a few uh, seconds. Save the menu. Okay. Okay, so go back to your uh, front page and hit refresh. And now you will see the mega menus in action. You can see the pages, um, all the sub items are displayed in a nice four column layout, as well as the VC elements. And the shop, um, the shop is actually using only three columns uh, layout, which still looks um, nice. You can set from one column, two columns, uh, three columns, or four columns for any of the mega menus that you want to use and create. Okay, so uh, that's it for the um, importing demo data tutorial. Thank you for watching.